Hello everyone, this is Robin and welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I am so happy that you're with me today. Uh, we're going to jump right in with today's project. I am showing a fun technique using one of our embossing folders and an ink pad for the background. So this is super fun to do. And then everything else is just white and a little bit of vellum. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'll have everything that you see along with the sizes directly on my uh, screen with the item code and the description or the name. You can purchase anything you see here directly from my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. Okay, so let's jump in. There's only one thing we're stamping in this whole entire class today, and it's on this piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is just a quarter sheet of our eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to be stamping the Eiffel Tower. That's the only stamp that I'm using from the adorable stamp set. Uh, we're using the Parisian Beauty stamp set along with the coordinating dies. So I'm using the Pool Party. I'm just gonna open this up, slide it, and oops, and then I'll just ink this up. And I'm going to stamp it right here. That is all of the stamping that we're doing. Super easy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm gonna pull out my die cutting machine. I'm gonna add this on here and I'm taking the framelit or the die that coordinates. It frames around the Eiffel Tower and I'm also going to be using the die that says Merci. Just so run this through. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that paper crafting, paper crafting does not require perfection. If you can remember that, you'll do great at this fun hobby. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to be using the Parisian, I'll have the name of it on the screen. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, just gonna have this on a flat surface. I'm going to take our ink, my ink pad. This is the pool party again. And now our ink pads are raised and that helps so you can use any size stamp with our ink pads, but it's also fun because you can do other techniques like this one. So I'm just going to ink up directly. Isn't this so fun? If you've never tried this before, give it a shot. It's a super fun technique. Okay, I'm just gonna ink this up really well. I'm gonna set this aside for a second. And I am going to get my paper. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this upside down. Line this up right here. There's a little line on the bottom of the embossing folder. And I'll just line that up. I'm gonna pull this forward and I'll go ahead and just run this through super quick. And then are you ready for the magic to happen? Oh, I am so excited. This is such a really super fun technique. Ready? Okay. Look at this, let me pull this out of here and then we will see what it looks like. Ah, my fingers, okay. This is ready to go, it's all dry. It's all ready to go. And now it's time to make this a card. Okay, we have one more little item we're gonna put through my die cutting machine. So I'm gonna grab this really super quick. We're gonna be using vellum cardstock. If you haven't tried vellum cardstock, You'll want to give it a shot. It's, well, they say cardstock, but it's really like this. It's like this. It's a little bit thinner and I love it. I use it all the time. Okay, I am going to be using our layering ovals just for a little background. Run this through. Okay, now I can finish this card up. And I'm going to start by taking this piece of thick whisper white cardstock is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I will fold this in half. You could also score this at four and a quarter if you wanna get a tighter crease. Sometimes it's a little bit bumpy if you don't score it first. That one turned out okay though. All right, this is another piece of our regular whisper white cardstock. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm just going to layer this this piece right here up. And because this piece is embossed, dry embossed, I like to put the my adhesive, and I'm using our snail adhesive. I like to use, it, use this on all four sides and a little in the center. That way it stays nice 
and flat when I'm laying it down. Isn't that so fun? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I wanted this to pop up a little bit, so you could just lay it flat, but I'm going to be using our foam adhesive strips right here, foam adhesive strips, and I'm going to do two right here and then a little in the center. You could also use, maybe I'll use a little bit more. These are the foam adhesive strips and I love them for big pieces that I want to raise up. They're also perfect for shaker cards. So this kind of looks like it's a shaker card, but it's not. I'm just going to peel off the backing. It takes literally maybe two or three seconds. And then now I'm gonna put this on here and you have a nice raised up dimensional look. Okay, now we are going to take our Eiffel Tower and I'm just going to use our multi-glue now. I just want to take it about two-thirds and all the way up, all the way down to about two-thirds. And then I am going to put this on the piece of vellum, and I just want the, the top to stick out a little bit like that. And the rest is just going to go right on the vellum, just like this. Okay, now I'm going to take this word, and I'm going to grab some glue, and grab our sponge, and you can also use a silicone our silicone mat. I prefer to do it just on paper. So you gotta find what you what works for you. I'm gonna put this right here. And now I'm going to take this little dot of an eye. And I'm gonna put it right on here. Hopefully this works for the video. Yay! Okay. All right, now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to grab our Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to put one on each of the legs, one in the center, one toward up here. And now you can cut one in half if you'd like, or you can simply pull out if you have any of our mini Stampin' Dimensionals. Well, I guess I don't have any near me. So I'm going to carefully cut one of these in half. Those scissors are just for sticky stuff, so don't worry. Those weren't my good scissors. All right, now I'm going to just peel the backing off. And we will add this onto our card. And now we have a beautiful card. Look how pretty this is. I have it a little bit off to the right. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment. If you're not a subscriber, please take a second to subscribe and click the little notification bell. You can find me and more of my projects directly on my website, mypinkstamper.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.